Dixon, what are you doing? What are you doing? All right, I'm preparing for the meetup. Just like any good meetup, you gotta have a uh, nice cooler. Brand new igloo to hold plenty of cold beer. Oh wait, it needs a little something something. There we go. Now we're ready. Now we're ready for the meetup. Cold beer. So I ordered this off of Amazon, the Backflip MX-4. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my truck so I can have it for the meetup. What's up, guys? So getting ready to, uh, you know, it's about a week out, but I'm getting ready for uh, the meetup and, you know, gotta get a few things in order, making a long trip and wanna be sure everything's on the up and up. And I've really been wanting to put a cover on my truck back here and so I ended up ordering this backflip MX4 uh, aluminum cover so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on real quick and uh, see what it looks like so I know some of y'all hadn't seen our house it's actually a new house we just bought not new oh new to us there's our Jeep I don't know if you ever seen that the Punisher look at that huh it's a big pine right there don't drive it too much, but it's fun to drive. Standard, it's old, 25 year old Jeep. All right, I'm gonna get busy for this one. Ice cold beer! So there's obviously a rail for the left side and a rail for the right side. These are the little stands that hold the backflip up whenever you are got it folded up against your windshield. You can see the metal bracket indicates which side it's on. And that's where the backflip uh, attaches to. The rails fit really snug up against the uh, bed of the truck. These are the little claw brackets that attach the rails to the underside of the bed rail. There's three for each side. You attach one in the middle and then one towards the front as far as you can get it and one towards the back as far as you can get it. 
These are the drain lines that you can hook up for it. I'm not gonna use those. I don't need it. This is uh, some seal that you put up against the front and these, these are pads for the uh, uh, backflip when it's up against your windshield so that it doesn't rub up against your windshield. It's a softer pad. These brackets use a 916th inch wrench or socket. I've got both. I think I ended up using the socket more than the wrench. Just showing you here that it's 9 sixteenths. This is that sealant that you can put on the top lip of the front of the bed right here. But since I have a plastic cover in the back of the bed, it recommends not using the foam sealant when you have a plastic cover. It wasn't difficult to install, but two hands or a, a set of, another set of hands would have come in handy. Whenever you're putting it on, you gotta make sure that that uh, plate is as far forward to the front of the bed as possible as you're putting it on. Basically, you're taking those clamps and sandwiching it between the bed rail and the rail that holds the backflip. It was pretty easy to put on. You're supposed to get it snug and then give it about a quarter turn once you get it tight. It doesn't have to be too terribly tight. And then you just repeat this two more times on this side and then of course do the other three on the other side. There you can kind of see how it clamps up against the underside of the rail of the truck. Really flush. So there's the front one, the middle one, and the back one. And you just repeat that on the other side of the truck. And this is the backflip, the MX-4, it's aluminum. It's, it's not very heavy, but uh, you know, you can, you can pick it up by yourself, but it would have made it a lot easier if I had some help. So what I'm doing now is gonna go ahead and load it up into the bed of the truck and then set it on the rails once I get it in there. It almost opened up on me there and dro almost dropped it. So I'll slide that in there and then you just pick it up and set it on the rails that you just mounted to the bed of your truck. It's got the uh, plastic clips that clip in each time that it unfolds and it just, it just clips right in. Then of course you gotta mount it to the front brackets, which I'll show you here in just a second. There you can see the brackets on either side. And that piece folds over. There's pre-drilled holes on both sides. It comes with a bolt that you just slide down right through the bracket. And then you put some washers on it and tighten it from underneath. So there you just try to straighten it up best you can. Before I'm gonna mount it with the, the bolts, they have these uh, little brackets that you can mount on the front that accept the uh, strap. So the strap plugs in there whenever you got it open to keep it from uh, you know flying open when you're driving down the road, which is pretty cool. It's just got a Phillips uh, screw and then a little barrel on the bottom. You just tighten that thing up. It was fairly straightforward and easy to do and you repeat on the other side. It's also got pre-drilled holes. This is the bolt that goes in that mounts down through that hole there and mounts the backflip to the truck. It's got a rubber 
grommet washer type deal then a stainless washer and then a locking washer that you put up underneath it and then you uh, use that knob and tighten it up underneath wasn't too hard you put that down and crawl up under there and hardest part was trying to video with one hand and use one hand to put the washers on but I ended up getting it you tighten it not too tight because uh, you've got to put them both on and then go to the back of the truck and make sure that it's straightened up and when it's straight then you come back and tighten it now these are the foam pieces that sit so that when the back flips fully open and leaning against your windshield it's not just uh, you know hard metal to glass it's got these foam strips and it's got uh, cell adhesive that you just peel right off and stick to the bottom of the backflip. A little point of interest is that uh, I couldn't find the instructions. Uh, it did not come with instructions. So what did I do? I just uh, went to YouTube and found somebody else's channel that did the same thing. And they had some pretty clear, I think it was a ba the company backflip uh, sponsored a video, so. All right guys, so that's it. You can see it right there, the Backflip MX4, uh, black matte. Um, took about, I don't know, 30 minutes, you know, with the camera work and all that amazing stuff that I do for y'all. It took a little bit longer, but uh, yeah, looks pretty good. Pretty excited about it. Getting ready for the trip, man. Getting ready for the trip to Oklahoma. Got my cooler, got my, my Backflip on. Got to start packing. It's going to be a long trip, man. Anything I, anything I can do to go up there and see these YouTube channels in Oklahoma, man. They're awesome. So we'll see y'all later. Cold beer. Ice cold beer. Oh, baby. Thank you.